general anatomy, it's the first part, you remember, it's your first uh, uh, course uh, and first practice lesson and first lecture in the last year. And uh, second part, it's a locomotor uh, apparatus, systemata musculoskeletale, bones, joints, and muscle. And uh, third part, it's internal organs, pontmology, digestive, respiratory, urinary, genital organs. Uh, next one, uh, you studied Systema Integrantia first. It's an endocrine glands, cardiovascular system, and lymphoid organs. And now we are finished um, system, uh, integ Systema Integrantia second, yeah? Uh, Systema Nervosum, uh, we start in, in a last uh, semester. Today we continue about a sense organ and uh, integument. Integument, uh, uh, maybe you remember and writing now in the chat, uh, what parts uh, include integument? Integument, please. If you know, please write in, in the chat, uh, what is it? Skin, uh, hair and nails. Not only, but thank you so much. Very quickly, uh, we have uh, Gandhi writing uh, other version, please. Only or oh, epithelium. Epithelium is a part of the skin, dear students. Dermis, it's a part of the skin. Uh, okay, epidermis, dermis, it's a part of the skin. Uh, carotene, epidermis, derma associated hair, nails, uh, uh, associated glands, hair, nails, it's a part of the skin uh, in a one variant. Uh, but as a uh, protective layer, yeah. Okay, uh, please remember in a new uh, anatomical terminology, it's a skin and breast. Breast, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Bugra Sahin, you write in this uh, variant too. Okay. Uh, and uh, our sense organs it's a vision, hearing, yes, uh, uh, testing, skin, uh, it's uh, all organs in our uh, touch, uh, vision, uh, sm uh, smelling, um, and it's some parts in the human body. Main uh, parts, it's a five uh, sense organs, yeah? Uh, it's very interesting and um, long time uh, sense organs uh, studied uh, after central nervous system. Now we change our uh, program and uh, in a finish, when you know some structure, some organs, uh, I, I hope uh, this is a supermarket uh, or market uh, very popular in a different country where you live, yeah? A big person, some uh, spezias, uh, and uh, in a, this market, uh, very um, like uh, some uh, uh, smelling, uh, different uh, taste. The human eye, it's a very uh, interesting and very hard uh, in a structure, uh, organs uh, in a human body and ophthalmologist, uh, it's a, a special, a very interesting and very popular uh, specialization in uh, in uh, uh, medicine and uh, anatomy of the human eyes uh, is like a simple camera, uh, same with simple camera. First one, it is clearer. What the world's heart like a light uh, tight box. Cornea and uh, crystalline lens, uh, eye lines, is a two lens system. Uh, retina at the back, of the air ball, like the film, and uh, iris or iris, uh, like di diaphragms uh, or stop in a camera, and uh, pupil camera uh, aperture, 
and eyelid lens cover. It's interesting, but I understand some students in, in your generation uh, don't remember uh, really uh, some uh, 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 simple camera, yes? Who uh, have uh, with you, uh, who have, uh, for example, at home or who used uh, simple camera for a photograph uh, present the student in your course or not not in a smartphone it's a real camera a special uh, with a box yes i use yes uh, it's uh, some hobbies in a some uh, person who very like um, uh, photos with uh, simple camera it's uh, really uh, different uh, photos uh, not same with a smartphone yeah mm -hmm. yes uh, now uh, present very good cameras in the smartphone and uh, every year uh, change uh, technology and uh, but uh, you understand it's uh, two moments, it's uh, one variant, it's very good. Uh, second moment, it's uh, not uh, very um, simple for the all world, yeah? Okay, uh, accessory uh, structures um, or adnexa and uh, adnexa cities, inflammation, it's accessory structures. You can remember when you will be in a uh, practice lessons uh, uh, in a different clinic. It's uh, some names, structure, accessory structures, but it's a nexa. Four layers, it's the first one. It's a skin, uh, thinnest in, in the body. Uh, muscles, uh, orbicularis oculi and levator palpebra superioris. And connective tissue, uh, tarsal plate uh, contains tarsal or Meibonian lens and uh, halosion. And uh, it's all uh, names very important for uh, created name some disorders. If you uh, know uh, name and where well located this structure, in the uh, eyes, uh, you very simple understand what problem may present. And uh, here it's a located eyes uh, in a cranial uh, cavity, what fossa especially for eyes. Yes, it's an orbita, yes. How many uh, balls in orbita? If you remember, please write in a number how many balls in orbita, uh, please, I'm waiting number in the chat, not two. Other variant, the only writing it's a two volts in the orbita. Uh, I understand uh, up and down or superior and inferior. Not a mark, it's a not three. Thank you, uh, uh, Saran and Yusuf Barak. It's really four um, walls, uh, and we will uh, revision this as walls uh, in the next slides too. So uh, four layers, skin, muscles, connective tissue, and first it's a conjunctiva. It's a mucous membrane, palpebral conjunctiva, and bulbar conjunctiva. Eyelids uh, and lacrimal apparatus, uh, it's a two uh, accessory structures. And lacrimal apparatus, it's a form and, and uh, drain uh, tears. Uh, and uh, it's tears, what is your opinion? How many uh, tears uh, rated in a one day? This process uh, don't stop, you understand, when you uh, sleeping, it's uh, two created uh, tears or lacrima as a variant in the Latin language. Uh, how many? What is your opinion? So, Ron, if you're uh, speaking uh, audio, please. I'm just thinking that voice. Yeah, it's a big person, really. and. 
uh, it's the biggest than uh, 10 liters per day. Uh, and when a person sleeping, uh, it's uh, tears moving to in a, uh, eyes and uh, moving to the special structure and uh, finish point for tears. What is your opinion? Well, okay. Starting in a uh, lacrimal gland, lacrimal gland uh, connecting with first uh, upper parts of the uh, uh, orbita, yes? And what is your opinion? Finish, you look, it's, it's, a, it, it's a nasal cavity, yes. It's a very important moment for uh, our breathing because this is lacrima connecting with ear and uh, it's a fresh air, some variant in a, uh, after connect with uh, uh, tears. Okay, uh, you know structure, uh, palpebra, yes, you remember uh, some muscle, levator palpebra superioris for opening our eyes, yeah? Who remember maybe um, which uh, cranial nerves, especially for uh, innervation, this muscle? Don't remember, please. Revised cranial nerves, it's very important part in this semester and for all your uh, uh, study uh, in a different other uh, subject, uh, oculomotor nerve, yes, Karen, thank you so much, great, have superior uh, ramus uh, or branches for innervation, uh, including levator palpebra superioris, okay. Uh, next one, you can look in, in a, a eyelids and elbow, uh, not correct, uh, this variant more correct, and yes. Uh, for uh, round for not press. Uh, if uh, this variant, it's maybe some problem. Yeah. Uh, next one, uh, early structure. It's a palpebral aperture when opening eyes. Yeah. And uh, you remember levator palpebra superioris, uh, medial palpebral li ligament. Uh, tarsal uh, plate and uh, orbicularis oculi muscle. Uh, who remember how many parts in the orbicularis oculi muscle? It's a uh, muscles uh, for around in a around form. The same with the sphincter. Yes, it's a very uh, big um, function for. Uh, closing eyes and uh, uh, you can in a laboratory uh, uh, lesson when you uh, will revise uh, the structure please open the first part in the muscles and replay information about external uh, muscle near eyes yeah it's an orbicular uh, yes uh, two parts and which parts are on palpebral parts and orbital part, yeah, great. Uh, and uh, lacrimal apparatus, we will uh, start in uh, and continue about lacrimal apparatus after uh, 10 minutes. Please, dear students, now I not leave uh, the chat, you can uh, stop to your uh, connect with smartphone and gadget, please. Uh, and I uh, stopped video and uh, sound and we have 10 minutes break and we will continue after 10 minutes break. Please stand up, move in, in your uh, room, uh, create uh, some physical training. It's very good for your next time connect with some information, okay? Okay, sir. Ten minutes break. Yes, yes. Okay, professor.
Dear students, we will continue, yeah? Yes, Great. And we, uh, about tears, about lacrima apparatus, tears production and uh, drainage. Uh, it's, uh, it does in the nasal lacrimal ducts may not uh, be fully developed. It's a small and longest form housing the watery eye. Uh, and uh, acquired uh, obstruction of the nasal lacrimal ducts uh, is a common cause of uh, watery eye and uh, in adult, yes. It may uh, lead uh, to an acute infection of the sac and uh, its nasal lacrimal ducts may present a big version of different salt and uh, as a variant, it's a traumatism uh, in the uh, uh, walls of the orbita and walls of the nasal cavity. Uh, when uh, trauma, trauma present, it uh, may uh, absent normal uh, moving the systems in a uh, nasal cavity, for example. And uh, I replay um, orbital uh, nasal lacrimal glands uh, connect with up uh, or superior walls of the uh, orbital orbita and uh, uh, tears moving with uh, uh, lacrimal glands uh, all times um, in uh, starting in up moving to the down and in uh, with uh, lateral angle to medial angle of the eye. Tears goes uh, this is way you can uh, write in uh, or screening. This information, it will be a uh, control box in uh, uh, your practice lesson. First time, uh, lacrima, uh, lacrimal glands. Next one, it's a lacrimal rivus, la uh, lacus lacrimalis or lacrimal lacus uh, or lake uh, as a variant. Yes, papilla lacrimalis, canaliculus lacrimalis, ampulla canaliculus lacrimalis. Saccus, ductus, and conchanasi inferior. Conchanasi inferior, it's a Finnish part of the uh, moving in the tears, and uh, it's very important. It's some, this is question pre present in a uh, uh, exam step one after third course. And this question, for example, long time was present in a booklet uh, with. 200 tests, including uh, human anatomy too. So uh, orbital walls, superior, inferior, medial, and lateral. And if you, uh, some variant, don't uh, remember some structure in these walls, please um, replay uh, and uh, download this information. Uh, with books, uh, it's very important for innervation and vascularization in the next time uh, in this region and the organs uh, who loca uh, uh, which located in uh, this structure. Here you can look uh, in the orbita present big person nerves, vessels, uh, and some accessory organs of the vision. Uh, parasympathetic fibrous, uh, sympathetic sensory, parasympathetic uh, nerve fibrous reach uh, the elbow via the short and long ciliary nerves, which this is clear and posteriorly. And uh, biggest part, uh, nerves and vessels moving. You remember in uh, orbita, it's a special structure. Uh, superior and inferior uh, uh, orbital fissure, fissure, fissure and uh, fissure or uh, optic nerve uh, moving in the optic uh, special canal. Yes. And uh, next one connected with uh, muscles and uh, other structure in the eye. Uh, layers of the eye, it's uh, sclera and choroid. Uh, sclera outer white layer, uh, uh, white layer, yes, here, more comfortable vision in a white color, maintain shape of the eyes. Uh, but in uh, this is uh, structure, uh, 
located uh, big portion in, in the heroid big portion vessels yeah and uh, who remember what name uh, this is structure here what is it yes students where are you are you here Optic nerve. optic nerve and uh, maybe you remember how many parts in the optic nerves uh, three no i think four four parts first uh, it's allocated in a uh, bulb yes next one located uh, in a uh, orbital part or in the orbita next one in a canal and uh, first part in a cranium after a optic uh, uh, Canal, and uh, here it's an optic chasm. Next one, it's an optic tract uh, connecting with uh, structure of the brain. And in the finish, uh, we allocated uh, optic center on in a cortex place. Who remember which uh, loops in the brain, uh, especially uh, ending point for. Uh, Vision. Dear students, are you sleeping? Occipital. Occipital loop. Thank you so much, Panasai. Michelle. Great. Uh, so Uh, next one it's chambers and fluids of eyes. Uh, first one it's anterior chambers uh, between cornea and lens. Uh, it's a uh, mm, first time. Next one uh, posterior chamber uh, and uh, vitreous body. It's a big uh, portion of the chamber with uh, vitreous. Uh, Tumor uh, located uh, after the lens. Uh, in a sagittal section of eyes, a uh, very simple uh, um, find fibrous tunic of the eyes, eye uh, choroid, and uh, retina. Um, this is more uh, big uh, structure and with some parts in this layer and um, some regulation amount light and uh, contracted papil dilatate papil uh, a very simple experiment for this method it's uh, looking in a big version for example in a sunny day in the sun uh, and next one close your eyes and uh, looking after this in a your pupil or pupil in your friends and understanding this uh, moment. And in the physiology, you will uh, have some uh, e uh, experiment for these methods too and uh, understanding the regulation amount of the light. Um, it's a fo focus in uh, a light rays, corneal and ciliary muscle. Next one, uh, some uh, changing structure of lens it's very important for our vision uh, lens connecting with ciliary process of ciliary suspensorial ligaments and uh, in uh, retina and uh, uh, some process accommodation uh, uh, and image production uh, it's a process in a physiology you will revise in a, a laboratory lesson you very uh, seriously will study uh, this structure uh, and uh, i understand it's very hard really uh, practice lesson i because uh, understanding this whole uh, structure it's uh, not very simple um, and uh, you can look to uh, connected light with some uh, layers of the uh, and to the heroids it's a special roads and cones for differentiation uh, some uh, light 
and uh, ganglion cells uh, connecting and processing cells, photoreceptors, rods and cones, and retinal pigment, it's layers of the retina, and uh, road cells, it's a light sensor, uh, 120 million function is a less intense light and used in the peripheral vision, uh, responsible for night vision and uh, detect black, white, and uh, shades of the gray. Cone cells detect co color, uh, 7 million, 120 roads, and 7 million cone cells. Uh, highest um, concentration at four uh, centralis function best in a uh, bright light and uh, perceive fine details. Three types of the cone cells, each um, sensitive uh, to one of the three primary uh, detectical colors, red, green, and blue. Uh, it's uh, these three colors really, if mixed uh, this color, you can create uh, different other color in uh, palitra, yes. Macula lutea, small yellowish area of the retina of the optic disc, yellowish spot, and area that provides the most acute vision, uh, clear vision. Uh, when the gaze is uh, fixed on any object, uh, the center of the macula and the, uh, the center of the lens and the uh, object uh, are in a straight line. Uh, forward centralis not located. Uh, you uh, can look to where a hyaloid canal located uh, near optic nerve, but uh, uh, some light moving to the forward. It's very important for understanding some structure uh, where located uh, light with uh, vision of the external. And uh, in the uh, optic nerve, uh, a very interesting uh, microscopic uh, uh, structure and schematic. Uh, it's you can look to uh, retina moving to the uh, optic nerve, uh, and optic nerve uh, uh, in a central part have retinal. Uh, a special central retinal artery in the middle part uh, of the optic nerve. And some activity, uh, some uh, function, this is structure and uh, well located in the uh, uh, revision uh, eyes uh, when uh, this procedure have uh, ophthalmologists. Uh, here it's a part well located a blind spot or uh, starting of the uh, optic nerve uh, and forward centralis, it's um, laterally uh, located. Okay, uh, and some structure about uh, some function about refraction, uh, uh, some disorders, this structure and comments, uh, correction, uh, some uh, disorders of the vision. Uh, it's only you can understand where located and what structure really uh, located uh, in the eyes. Uh, next one, uh, I replay uh, physiology uh, vision. It's uh, of the vision, vision, vision. It's a very um, hard process, but uh, understand this, this moment uh, where located. Um, and some structure uh, only after human anatomy uh, studying uh, all the uh, vision uh, organs. And uh, color vision using the uh, three different uh, photo pigments. I replay blue, green, and red. Um, and uh, now I wait in, in the chat, uh, you're writing uh, what number you're looking in this um, it's a special test for color blindness. Great. Uh, I uh, looked, uh, all students have powerful uh, coloring 
receptors and uh, understanding this number uh, it's very good uh, what is your opinion uh, may present uh, really doctor with problem with differentiation some color Dear students, dialogue. Okay. Uh, monitor of the second group present in the lecture. Yes, I'm here. Yes, Sauron. Uh, are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear. Yeah, and uh, I look in uh, and differentiation some color in the picture. And what is your opinion about some person uh, who studying in a medical faculty have problem with um, differentiation, for example, blue color, it's problem or not? I think that, uh, yes, it's a problem. Yes, it's a problem because, why, to, why, because? We have why? to notice them, uh, when we in surgical um, times, we have to um, know uh, differences between veins and arteries. Yes, and uh, some colors, for example, in the drugs, uh, may present um, differentiation some drugs with uh, coloring uh, in the mm -hmm. ample yes and as a moment uh, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, roads can see in uh, beam light see in black and white roads see in black and white respond to movement and found more in uh, periphery Cones uh, required more light, uh, seeing color, gives the best accuracy and best more uh, central uh, in forward and front. Okay, and uh, this object uh, change uh, structure in the uh, image in a retina in a uh, elbow. It's very important too. It's uh, same with uh, camera process and. We uh, visual pathway is very very hard and very important understanding where um, um, present chiasm optic and which structure in a optic chiasm uh, change in the right and left part uh, stereopsis use both eyes to uh, represent. Uh, this and uh, nasal fibers cross the optic chiasm. Temporal fibers do not cross over. Uh, and um, visual uh, visual pathway is a retina, optic nerve, optic chiasm, optic tract, optic radiation, and uh, occipital lobe, or it's a visual center or visual ending point for understanding which uh, information after eyes connecting in these uh, receptors. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, may problem uh, some vision pro uh, vision problems. It's a myopia, hyperopia, uh, presbyopia, astigmatism. It's very, very uh, big problem really in this century because uh, biggest part uh, information moving after eyes. Uh, and uh, especially for uh, child, yes, do you understand? Uh, if uh, your uh, your generation who are now present in a um, uh, second course uh, university connect with uh, smartphone, for example, ten years ago, yes. Now, uh, some child uh, touch with smartphone uh, in a two, second years old, uh, third years old, and all time connect with some information uh, in, in the internet without video. It's a very big problem. It's a 
stress for eyes a long time uh, in a uh, organism too. And uh, some variant, uh, myopia, well located, yes. Uh, and some problem with vision uh, and uh, other types of the lens, uh, B convex, planar convex, and you uh, will study it at this moment too, not only in the human anatomy and physiology, in a practical lesson on a, uh, ophthalmology too, in a fifth course uh, uh, in uh, education of problem medicine. Hyperopia, you looked well located. This is image, yes, after. Uh, and this variant uh, vision may present in this is person. Uh, next one, it's a uh, presbyopia, a form of the hyperopia uh, that occurs with age, yeah. And normal vision here, you can look and astigmatic vision. Astigmatism, uh, it's a, some problem for visualization uh, to next question, yes. And people communicate through language, it's a, but is it possible to reproduce it only if the language here accept, understand and reproduce or replay? It's very important uh, and uh, for other variant, uh, for explanation, it's uh, when some person uh, may understand uh, language of the different other animals. Yeah, it's unreal. Yeah, but emotion, it's a other moment. And emotion, for example, in the face, it's a some language for understanding internal uh, thinking uh, some person too. So, uh, one moment. Dear students, maybe some students who this video may present, please. Because I not understand your language uh, now. Yeah, language of the student face and emotion. And this is lecture, please. Who can present with video? Uh, please switch on your video camera. It's an, I looked, it's unreal, yes. Oh, thank you, Karim. I understand uh, big parts, uh, big percent uh, student now location in a uh, bed, yeah, and uh, in a horizontal position and not <laughs> very good, but um, very good for your vision. It's a sitting when you looked uh, lecture, really. Okay. Mm. Uh, structure of ear it's a uh, outer middle and inner uh, you remember uh, middle ear connecting with auditory tube a more uh, good location in the street great uh, with breathing fresh air yes not sitting in a place great uh, and I recommend uh, dear students uh, really located, for example, this same with Amar in the street, if you, uh, you can uh, use the internet in this time, yeah, it's very good. <clears throat> okay, external uh, structure, uh, different form. This is structure in a different uh, ages. And uh, you know, uh, helix, tragus, cone here, uh, air loop, uh, it's a different uh, structure in the external air, but it's a not only skin, it's a cartilage too. And uh, this cartilage um, may move in with uh, muscles. Uh, and uh, for example, 
uh, section of the ear and uh, <clears throat> after skin you looked uh, how many uh, structures located between bone and uh, skin uh, near our uh, ear external um, membrane uh, tympanic membrane present uh, in our internal eye and uh, after this membrane uh, connecting uh, with uh, a sickle bone yeah uh, this is bones uh, it's a real size it's in the fingers located three bones of the uh, internal uh, in a temporal bone you know and it's really one uh, these bones not changes uh, size uh, in a newborn in an adult uh, it's very important moment too it's a one size to the whole life <clears throat> and located after tympanic membrane very interesting uh, topographic location uh, internal uh, structure of year and uh, you looked uh, in a uh, frontal vision uh, it's a very uh, same with uh, vision uh, organ too. and uh, in the internal structure in a uh, practice lesson you uh, will uh, study it uh, some structure of uh, uh, cochlea when cochlea in a one size it's a uh, will be present 11 number it's a helicotrema uh, but not only hearing it's a main function of the uh, vis visual organ uh, uh, hearing organ or uh, ear it's a uh, uh, present to Autolites uh, and uh, in the internal uh, vestibular apparatus, uh, it's a uh, two very important uh, moment for understanding uh, where located our body. Some microscopic structure uh, in the organs uh, and uh, in the laboratory lesson, you will study it about uh, ways of the. Uh, hearing and uh, statokinetic analyzator uh, and uh, well located in a uh, cortex center of the uh, our hearing it's a tympanic region yeah and development uh, external here it's uh, you can look well located some structure connecting next time to the external eye and some animals uh, when some problem with location and external structure of the here and uh, next time our uh, second lecture it's about integument uh, integument system uh, i replay uh, include First one it's a skin and the second one it's a breast uh, integument uh, <clears throat> it's a, a main part skin uh, a big portion uh, reaction to the external surface uh, some regulation temperature um, regulation some water balance uh, and uh, a reaction to the funny uh, old uh, life types of the skin there are two major types of the skin it's a sink or hairy skin covers all body region except uh, the palm uh, palms uh, palmar surface of digits and uh, soles uh, um, and uh, thick or hairless skin covers the palms uh, palmar surface digits and so the department the development of the integument system uh, the epidermis developed from the ectoderm uh, it's nails hairs and skin glands uh, are epidermal 
their rights, uh, the epidermis of the fetus protected by a fat, uh, fatty uh, substance called vernix uh, cazuosa, and um, the dermis develops from the mesoderm. And you looked uh, in some pictures, this variant uh, development, some structure. Function of the, of the skin, it's a first regula regulation of the body temperature. You know, uh, it's very important. Two variants, when very cold, physical training, uh, uh, flexible muscle, uh, it's uh, some high temperature, but if uh, in external uh, near skin absent closes, it's very big problem. Blood uh, reservoir, big portion vessels located, uh, for example, uh, bigger, it's a veins located uh, in the skin too. Protection, you understand, it's uh, really uh, organs connected with extensor, ex external surface and different moments to put in all those, uh, sensations, uh, very important moment. Uh, it's a touch and uh, general uh, and a special uh, recognize some structure in external. Ex excretion and absorption uh, between glands and synthesis of vitamin D. It's a uh, function of the skin too. Mm. Standard uh, answer, what parts in tugument? It's a uh, skin, accessory structures, including here, nails, uh, subcellus, lens, and uh, sweet lens. But uh, in a new terminology, uh, in tugument includes skin, skin, and uh, breast. Skin um, is the exterior covering of the body, weight uh, more than uh, six pounds in the average adult and covers more than uh, 3,000 square inches. Uh, it's a, it is uh, a really the largest organ of the human body. It uh, supplied with vessel, uh, vessels uh, and nerves and uh, function uh, of the skin very important for life, uh, and uh, some structure of the skin, it's an epidermis. The skin has two layers, epidermis and dermis. Um, and uh, stratum corneus uh, is the outermost strata of the epidermis. Uh, next one is a stratum lycidum. Uh, in a dermatology, uh, you can reply, replace this information, but in human anatomy, you uh, will study this uh, information too. The dermis uh, is a venous, uh, uh, the epidermis, and is composed of connective uh, tissue. It contains of lymphatic uh, structure, nerves, nerve ending, blood vessels, uh, and uh, glands, uh, elastic fibrous, and hair follicles. Uh, will be present in a dermis. Dermis is uh, divided into two layers, papillary layers and reticular layers. Uh, and the uh, cutinose tissue or hypodermis is composed of adipose and connective tissue. The hair uh, is a uh, thread-like uh, structure formed by group of cells development. Uh, and uh, uh, the hair uh, located uh, in a dermis, epidermis, and in the externals, uh, it's very important to the hair um, transparent uh, cuticle. Uh, hair cuticle uh, covers the hair uh, shaft, shaft like. Um, uh, shingles of the roof and protecting uh, it from for element and, and chemicals and from uh, causing moisture. So uh, cotanous glands um, are oil gland. Um, they have teeny duct, uh, teeny duct, uh, then open into each 
care follicles and uh, uh, each uh, subcutaneous gland secretes a sebum which uh, lubricate, lubricates uh, the hair and skin. It's very important too. Uh, the amount of the secretion varies with age, uh, poverty, and uh, pregnancy. You know, uh, short uh, in a standard, uh, yes, uh, short here uh, in a head uh, um, standard for uh, men and for women, it's a long, but uh, what is your opinion? Musa, for example, yes, about long hair in a man. Um, uh, I don't have an opinion, professor. I just, I have long hair. I, uh, I don't care. Yes, I, Musa, I, why like I uh, reply to you because I'm in a student have uh, very long hair too. Yeah, and, it's, it's yeah. cheaper, professor. I don't have to cut my hair. I don't have to go to the salon every uh, all the time, so it's I don't pay yes. for a barber. Uh, I uh, have this question with this slide because uh, not very important long or short here. Very good if it's uh, time to time. Uh, all person, men and women, have uh, clean uh, uh, and uh, wash uh, head and hair. Very very. Um, good uh, vision and uh, it's uh, more important uh, than uh, the size uh, of the lung uh, this structure. Thank you so much. I agree. Uh, nails, uh, some structure near uh, which uh, part here? What is it? It's a distal phalanges. Yeah. And how many phalanges you remember, dear students? Fourteen. Fifteen, not uh, correct because in a first, in a, in a thumb, yes, in a up and in a uh, member superioris and uh, member inferioris have only distal and proximal. Other have distal, medial, and proximal uh, phalanges. Okay, <clears throat> uh, and. Very popular now, it's uh, uh, some coloring and different structure of the nails. Uh, and you remember uh, manicure in a manus, pedicure in a pedis, uh, in a uh, up or uh, member superior and, or, or inferior, yes. And some uh, other structure and some problem may present when uh, not very good uh, hygiene and uh, when crush uh, and cut uh, the structure uh, not uh, in the rules for hygiene. Uh, and uh, pseudo-oriferous gland, uh, uh, glands are sweet glands. Uh, it's about two million or distributed over the surface of the body, more numerous uh, on the palms and hands, uh, so uh, the feet, uh, forehead, and axle. And uh, sweet gland produced sweet uh, or uh, per per perspiration, yes, and uh, it's a uh, variant when long time, uh, uh, especially closes, uh, used some person and not very comfortable for other person, for example, in a metro or other transport and in a one room, for example, when sitting some uh, person. So the organs of the integumentary system uh, include the skin and uh, breast. Dermatology is a medical uh, specialty uh, for diagnosis and treatment of the disorders uh, of integumentary system. It's very, very uh, important too and uh, structure 
uh, of the skin uh, covers of the body and the largest organ I replace this information because it's a very important to so uh, components components of integumentary system it looked it's uh, uh, some structure uh, in the skin and uh, types of the epidermis uh, different structure in epidermis you can look into gementary uh, filament and melanin granule in the melan melanocyte melatonin do you know what is it um, and uh, lung and gowns cells and Merkel cells, uh, it's a T types of the cells in the epidermis and uh, some layers of epidermis you looked here. Uh, so uh, dermis, dermis has several important characteristics. First time is composed of connective tissue, contain collagen and elastin fibers, contains two layers and uh, the outer uh, papillary region consists of areolar connective tissue contains this collagen and elastic fibers, derma, dermal papilla, including capillary loops, uh, corpuscle of touch and uh, free nerves ending. Uh, this is nerve ending, uh, important classification too. It's a general uh, uh, innervation and uh, special innervation in general. Uh, it's uh, for example, touch, press, and, but uh, may present chemical, uh, connecting uh, some chemical structure with uh, skin, uh, different temperature, high to low, low uh, temperature and uh, uh, it's uh, differentiation. This is touch for skin uh, present in the brain. Structural basis of the skin color uh, variations or in skin color it is from a variation uh, in the amount of three uh, pigments. It's a melanin, carotene, and um, hemoglobin. What does it mean, melanin? A yellow, red, and or uh, brown, black pigment produced by melanocytes located mostly in epidermis, where it absorbs uh, ultraviolet uh, radiation. Uh, the amount of melanin causes the skin's color vary, uh, vary uh, from uh, pale yellow and red to tan uh, to tan uh, uh, to black. Uh, begin uh, localized overgrowth melanocytes is nervous or uh, mole. Albinism, do you know, uh, is an uh, inherent uh, inability to produce melanin. Uh, vitiligo is a condition in which uh, there is a uh, part or complete low melanocyte from uh, patches of skin. And uh, keratin, yellow orange pigment found in the stratum corneal and epidermis and subcutaneous layer. And hemoglobin red color uh, in a erythrocyte flowing through the dermal capillaries. And uh, replay accessory structure of the skin include hair, skin glands, and nails. Hair or pili uh, have a number and important function. First time it's a protection. The next one it's a, a reduction of the fat loss and um, sensing light touch. And uh, hair is composed a uh, third. Keratinocyte, epidermal cells. Here consists of a uh, shaft which mostly protects above the surface of the skin, root which um, penetrates into the dermis, and um, hair follicle, epithelial roots, uh, schist, and or internal, and dermal uh, root, uh, external. Here is the structure located. 
and uh, to the uh, accessory structures of the skin, the, there are different types of the of hairs, including uh, lanugo, vellus hairs, and terminal hairs. Hair color is determined by amounts uh, melanin, keratin, and blood, and subcutaneous or ale, uh, as a name, uh, ale glands uh, are connected to hair follicles. Uh, and males, uh, uh, it's uh, located uh, in a distal uh, part of the uh, finger and uh, near a phalanx, uh, distal phalanx uh, of the finger. Breast, uh, it's a part of the in integument. Uh, I replace the skin and breast. And brace, breast uh, made up of milk producing glands, uh, supported and um, attached to the chest wall by ligaments, uh, rests uh, on pectoralis myer uh, muscle. You remember uh, pectoralis muscle, um, myer muscle were located. And uh, three major hormones affects uh, the breast. It's an um, estrogen, progesterone, and prolactin. And for me, interesting your answer in the chat, uh, where produced estrogen, please. I'm waiting. Writing in the chat, dear student, where produced estrogen? Ovaries, estrogen, progesterone were produced. And well, uh, produ uh, produced prolactin. Prolactin, please. Pituitary gland, great. You remember about this is very important gland too. Yes, great. And uh, after skin, uh, breast uh, location in the uh, anterior surface of the thorax. Uh, and uh, um, really, uh, breast contains in 50 20 lobes yeah, this is lobes uh, it's a very interesting structure uh, in uh, fat covers the lobes and uh, shapes the breast and uh, lobulus uh, fill each loop uh, sucks at the end of lobules produced milk and duct uh, deliver milk to the uh, nipple. Uh, it's a uh, section, sagittal section of the breast and uh, breast uh, have uh, some quadra quadrants. It's very in important for understanding where located uh, some structure. For example, it's may uh, atypical cells uh, yeah, in a uh, breast, you know, it's a very uh, big problem in the many countries in the world. And um, some time to time, uh, all uh, women must uh, revision some uh, uh, right and left breast for uh, different atypical structure in this is uh, organs. Uh, regional lymph nodes uh, for breast, it's a uh, axillary lymph nodes uh, located uh, in the un uh, underarm uh, to the uh, collarbone and include interpectoral or uh, rotus nodes. And internal mammary, uh, or other name, it's a parasternal lymph nodes. Um, 
uh, infraclavicular or subclavicular lymph nodes and uh, supraclavicular lymph nodes above the collarbone. Uh, this uh, location, all this is uh, re regional lymph nodes uh, for breast. It's very important for understanding uh, where I can move in uh, atypical cells. Uh, it's uh, when in the one organs uh, after lymph uh, structure moving uh, some problem to the other region in the other uh, 